Am I getting kicked out because of the pink shorts? Like, you guys have something against Pride? Because uh, our company has certain policies, like you cannot video record. Yeah, man, so my clothes actually shrunk in the dryer. So apparently it's an inflatable sex doll. That's not for you? No, no, what, what's the address supposed to be? Uh, it says it's for here. All right, welcome back to another video. I'm not saying a vlog, I'd rather say a movie. That sounds a little more classy, a little more mature, like I'm up and at an age, so I don't want to be saying I'm a vlogger. I'm gonna say I make movies. That's what I do over here. But anyways, yeah, welcome back to the 20 people who watch my Ooh. vlogs. Fuck, I said it again. Watch my whatever, dude. Just watch these videos. Shout out to those people in the future for the people who are coming back to this relic, to this fossil of a video. I'm talking like way down in the future. This is gonna be extremely motivational. This is just gonna prove to you that you can do whatever you want. Like right now, in this moment, I am getting 20 views per vlog. Ooh. Got 10.8 thousand subscribers, which is, you know, quite a bit, but that was all from when I was a child. Like when I was young in my teenage years, I was grinding on YouTube and I pulled a whole bunch of subscribers and views and then I stopped making videos I just fell out of love with it not really fell out of love but I kind of just swayed away into some different life that I was kind of pressured into like I had to make money I'm an adult so I completely just put content on the back burner because I was like well I'm not making money like this isn't gonna work and instead of trying to you know make better higher quality videos I just dipped on the whole thing entirely and just worked and did my own thing and I was pretty miserable I'm not gonna lie but every single time I would be working like day in and day out I would always be envisioning something so big like I don't know what the f it was but there was something inside of me telling me that I had to do something or I always felt like I was meant to do so much more with my life and it's like you just have this vision you have this belief that you can do something Thing, but it just seems so crazy. It seems outlandish. But you gotta be quite ballsy to act on these emotions or to act on this feeling. Like, I know a lot of people in this world, they believe they can do, or they just have this innate feeling inside of them that they're meant to do so much more. But to act on that belief, the moment you do that, you kind of have like a separation between you and society because society is so like programmed and conditioned to do like the same mundane, boring task over and over and over. And not only that, like it's like a boxed mindset. So when you're following your dreams, everybody's gonna be bad. You. They're gonna be like, what the f like, what is this guy doing? Because they can't see the vision, they only see where you're at in the moment. But if you really feel something and you truly believe in something, then run it. But you gotta be ready for everything that comes with it. But anyway, so my landlord or the person who I'm renting this property off of decided that she doesn't want me here anymore at all for some odd reason. She's like, you know what, you gotta get out of here. She sent me a note, slid it under my door and gave me some news that she just doesn't want me here. And I don't know why it's like she doesn't want money or something or she just got enough to the point where she's like, oh, well I got enough money now so go f yourself. Which is unfortunate but I feel like everything happens for a reason and I don't want to stay in this place anymore or this town. I want to move on to bigger, better things. I want to live in the city so I have a huge solution collection of content because the city is like the perfect place because here there's one local gym so I, if I mess around there a whole bunch of times I'm getting kicked out and then where am I gonna go I have to drive far or whatever like in the city I can pick my own place where I'm like okay this is where I go to the gym not messing around here this is where I go and eat in the morning like I got my set locations where no tomfoolery is gonna be going down and then I have my video places where everything is going down but yeah I have no idea why she doesn't want me here I feel like it's just because I'm a very unorthodox non-cookie cutter type of individual like I go against the grain and a lot of the things that I do and I feel like society mostly accepts people who just shut the fuck up and stand in line and if you're the opposite of that and you do your own thing and you believe in your own thing like you just don't mesh well or even fit in with society at all and I'm fine with that yeah in the meantime I'm just gonna pack everything up and get it ready to go just so you know the universe or God or whomever is gonna be like oh well you're packed and you're ready to go so here's a place for you to stay at or whatever yeah, I definitely am a delusional optimist instead of a realist because a realist pretty much just means I don't really believe in myself. I'm a mediocre pussy who has no faith in anything and I'm just gonna live a mediocre existence. Like, why would you want to cap your existence or put that stamp on your life of limitation? Like, oh, I haven't seen it so it's not possible. Like, why would you want to live your life like that? I'd rather just be a delusional optimist. Crazy, whatever, I don't give a but yeah, let's pack up this cabin and get it ready to go. All right, so we're back again with the man of the hour, the cameraman. Try to escape, he tried to get out of here, but I'm like, no, nah, man, like we need to film and he was down for this one. The last one, I had to tripod everything, but it's okay. But, like this one, I literally need a filmer. Like I can't do it myself, so he's here today. I'm back. I don't think he knows what he's getting into though. I don't know, what are you expecting? Something ridiculous, probably. <laughs> I'll help you, Landon. I don't yeah. know why, but I will. But yeah, now we're kicking it up a notch. Last time was pretty easy, like we went into a liquor store, we trolled some people. You can't recommend liquor for kids. But just like something light, like a Jaeger bomb. But yeah, and this one, we gotta level up. <laughs> <and> we <laughs> 
And this one, we gotta level up and we gotta do it bigger than we did last time. You know, the last time we just went into a liquor store, we dicked around, we kinda trolled the person at the till. But in this one, we're going in the gym, I'm gonna be wearing some sus gear, going up to the biggest guy in the gym, telling him to get off my machine. And I just, you know, I think it's gonna be funny because he's gonna be looking at me like, what are you wearing first of all? And I don't know, it's just gonna be a weird like predicament. It's gonna be a weird situation if I'm wearing all this sus ass shit. <laughs> The cameraman looks scared. He's like, wait, so I'm gonna be filming all this shit? Cause he doesn't even know, so. <laughs> so a hey, wait, we got a bunny over here. Oh, shit. Why is it so friendly? Dude, what? <laughs> that is, no what? <laughs> no way. <laughs> My I don't. Dude, this thing looks so friendly. Like, that's gotta be a house bunny or something. Dude, I really wanna pet it, but I don't wanna get bit. That can't be a wild bunny, like, there's no way. No, but like, no matter what anybody says, you have to keep rolling. So like, if somebody comes up to you and they try to press you or whatever goes on, you have to keep filming. Because everything is content, right? Like, even if they get mad, that's content. And yeah, don't listen to anybody. If they tell you to stop recording, don't even listen to them. Just keep it going. Make sure the shot's good. I really don't want to walk in here and put short shorts on that are pink and pink socks and... It's just not something I want to do. He's like, yeah, I don't really want to do this. And then he just does it anyway. <laughs> I need the content, man. Like, I need to make this shit happen. I just want to be the best entertainer on planet Earth. Like, that's my goal. And you got to do shit like this to get attention. It's unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can tell, I always park my car as far away as possible. Just so we can do a little clean getaway and nobody sees me make my exit or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure I actually have a warrant for my arrest. Like, I got a speeding ticket and I live so far away. Like, I live in Alberta and it's like, what? Like, seven hours to get to the nearest, like, insurance place and I can't pay it online. So yeah, I haven't paid for it. So I don't know how long I got to that becomes a warrant. It tells me this now. Sir, get down! Like, it's weird because we have never been in this gym before, so, like, you're gonna have to find your position and not look sus. Well, it just looks weird because I'm the guy with the camera. It's just like, are you taking pictures of girls' asses? Or, like, you understand how this looks bad? If that happens, if people start saying that, I'm gonna be like, really, dude? Like, are you actually doing that? Because, like, I can't join you. I'll be like, what is this creep doing? Like, oh, Landon, I'm giving you the camera. <laughs> just, just be like, nah, I'm filming a documentary. Alright, <laughs> we'll figure this out later. Okay, let me get in my ritual. I need to get hyped up. I feel like a pro athlete before his big game. I'm actually using this machine. Like, this is for real men only. I already claimed this. Like, this is mine, so. Like, you guys gotta go. Yeah, but, like, for real. Yeah, this is my machine. Like, this is for real men only. Daddy, you mind if I hop on, Daddy? Like, do you want a spot or anything? Like, if I could hop on the back and just help you, that's fine. Like, I'm good. No, seriously, you look like you need assistance, so, like, I can grab on the back. I'm, okay. I'm not even joking, though. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Seriously? Yeah, thanks, bro. No. Oh. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm trying to get a lift in. What? I was just trying to get a, like some work in. Is that fine? Yeah, that one. No, like I'm trying to get some work in real quick, so like, do you mind no. if we share? Okay. This is meant for real men anyway, so like. No, no seriously though? Seriously, no. That is so haram, dude. Hey. Please? Go ahead. But can you hop on with me? Yeah, some guy, I was on the treadmill, and he, like he's trying to hop on my treadmill. Yeah, don't no worry. Uh, I need to take your profile. You can give me your car, please. What's that? I your My car. dad actually owns this gym, so like it's not even gonna... What you guys got on the go is not gonna fly. Sorry, what? I said my dad actually owns this gym, so whatever you guys got on the go is not gonna fly. No, like I run this shit. Like this is my gym. Like my dad owns this place, so like you guys have to go. You guys have to pack your bags and just be off. You just are the... not a member here, but you get dropping or what? Well, I'm not even the member. Like I'm the leader. Like I kind of lead this whole shit that we got going on, so... I just need your card, your name, phone number. Uh, my name is Iggy Arbuckle. She knows Iggy. Like, everybody knows Iggy Arbuckle around here. Like, I'm kind of a big deal, so. You can make me that favor, please. Am I getting kicked out because of the pink shorts? Like, you guys have something no, against Pride? No, because uh, our company has certain policies, like, you cannot video the car. Please. No, it's 30 pictures per second, so I'm not even filming. You can just type your name. Yeah, so my name's number. Iggy Arbuckle. Sorry, the lighting is just horrendous right here, so. So, yeah, it's just Iggy Arbuckle, 713 888. I'm the man. But I gotta go, though. Like, my pump's wearing off, so. But no, like, but my pump's wearing off. Like, I need to get my pump back, right? Cause like, you guys got me mid set, right? No, like, not. I'm not a member. I'm like a dropper. Yeah. yeah. So we need your first and last name yeah, it's and Iggy. the whole phone number. Yeah, it's Iggy Arbuckle. But then we need a phone number with last four digits. That's what it is. Seven one three eight eight eight. I'm the man. We is it oh, like? It's not yeah. Why do you want to call my number? Like, but listen, I know I'm attractive, but like you can't get my number. Yeah. It's not gonna work that easy. No, I know you guys are trying to find like an alternative route, but it's not. I actually have a husband. I don't, I don't need your. Dude, I don't appreciate you looking at me like that. I don't appreciate you disrespecting my shorts like that. But no, you're looking at my shorts and you're like, this guy's. Dude, you know it's Pride Month. Like you can't be doing that. Like, do you have a problem with LGBTQCP? I am, man. Like, do you have a problem with LGBTQCP? It's just pink. It's just a color. Like, it's not a big deal. Oh, I didn't know shirts were. 
It's actually salmon, like it's not even pink, so. I, honestly, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's salmon, it's not pink. Okay. It's salmon, like, I'm not insecure about it, but I'm just saying, like, it's, you know, it's salmon. Okay, that's good to know, it's salmon. Like, it's not pink, it's salmon, though. Okay. But it's not even pink. I didn't even notice the color of your shorts. But it's salmon, like, it's not even pink at all. Where do you get those from? You know, Elf Elite, his new yeah. line? <laughs> so I pretty much just picked them up. They, they are fire. Bro. They are honestly, fire, my friend. Honestly, do you have a discount code? I, yeah, I could probably get you like 20% off. If like, I know him pretty well, so. It's a brand new date. It's 7.48 p.m. My cameraman, I scared him off. I don't think he... He literally texted me saying he never wants to film with me again. Landon, I don't want to be the cameraman anymore. We can still be friends, though. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm gonna need a special person to be my cameraman, but I'm grateful for the time that I had him like he filmed You know some bangers. He was filming some bottles for like half an hour at the liquor store But hey, I'll take whatever I can get. I'm not picky. I'm not greedy It's better than me just filming by myself like I'm doing right now That's what I'm doing like it just makes it that much harder because I got to wear something like this with some booty shorts That's already gonna get everybody's attention and I'm walking in with the camera And then I got to put it up wrap it around something with the tripod. It's just a lot dude I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, it's raining outside like everybody Everybody looks like they're in a bad mood and it's probably not the best time to do this prank like I can just feel it like this morning literally some dude just snapped on me in the gym but I'm still gonna do it but I'm just not gonna you know go crazy with it I'm gonna learn how to do this shit properly without you know overstepping the boundaries cuz you know you you literally ne you don't know who you're going up to at all but yeah anyways let's go and do this man I want some comments I want something I want some support like the stuff I am doing is noble not only is it noble it deserves some appreciation because I'm him but in all seriousness though I just want to be the best I possibly can be and just make the greatest content for you guys and just do the most I can with the resources that I have so yeah anyways let's go Ooh. Fucking on the couch, now he nothing on my neck. Fucking in the bathroom, he's got on my baguette. Stroking in the bad way, losing your grip. Coming on my face, baby, don't trip. Choked. Hell no! Do you guys want to make like some ranch and dip? Like this is for, like this workout, this spot is for real men only. What? Can you guys make like some ranch and dip? Like this, this setup I got going on, like it's for real men only. It's been claimed by me, so. What are you asking? Like for this bench. What about it? Like it's for me, like it's got my name on it and all that, so. Okay, well we're using it, so I don't really know what you're talking about. But it's for real men only. Okay, cool. And like I'm alpha, like, Oh, so. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, like, if you guys yeah. want to. Bruh. I think my friends are f***ing with me, like I'm colorblind. Is this f***ing red or like, because I'm actually like legally colorblind, so, like I can't even see f***ing shit. My friends were like, oh yeah, like try this on, but everyone's been roasting me in the gym, so. Uh, looks pink to me, bro. But I'm actually a personal trainer for this gym, so like if you need assistance or whatever, like. I got you, bro. Like, straight up. Appreciate it. Just let me know. I'll be over here just training hard. I take this shit seriously. Like, it's no part-time for me, so just let me know, right? Your shirt's a little weird. Like, why are you wearing that color? What? Like, that color pink is kind of weird, dude. It's weird. It's weird, yeah. You don't want to wear, like, blue or something, like, masculine? Or... Oh, uh, I like that. Pink, it's not feminine. It is feminine. Like, no. I would never get caught dead <laughs> wearing like some pink, shit like that. It's like pink, bro. <laughs> not mine. I would never get caught it's dead pink, in that shit. Bro. This it's is pink, red. Pink, I'm colorblind, pink. but, like, I know this is red for real. Yeah, I actually own this whole gym, like, so. My dad actually owns this whole gym, so, like, this is mine, everything's mine, so, like, I can just hop wherever, right? All right, all right. Yeah, man, so my clothes actually shrunk in the dryer. I don't run that way, it's just my clothes, like, shrunk, right? And I'm colorblind, so I don't even know what color this is. But everyone else is saying, just tune it out, it's not even real. Like, this machine's only for masculine men, and, like, dude, my masculinity's through the roof right now. I just gotta f***ing get this shit real quick. Ah! Yeah, lightweight, baby. Some f***ing light shit going on down here, son. Oh, hell no! You actually gotta beat it. You gotta beat it. Like, this machine's only for masculine men, so, like, oh. I ain't even playing around. Like, yeah. It's only for alphas, right? Like, I'm as alpha as they come, so I claim this whole spot. But you know, like, a lion in the safari when it pisses and it kind of, like, gives off a scent to, like, everything else? Mm -hmm. So this shit's claimed, right? Because I'm the lion and I'm, like, it's been marked, so. Oh. So, yeah, I'm just, fair warning, like, no, okay. this shit's been claimed. So, like, been, like, how did you do that? Like, I don't even, I actually don't even speak English. Oh, Only Espanol, so. <laughs> oh, God. Hell no. Hey, yo, cut the shit. Oh, hell no. Hey, bro, I'm actually, I'm actually using this machine. I'm using all this shit, so if you could just pack shop. That'd be fine. All right, well, that was mildly funny. Like, I was enjoying my time. I was having a good time until, like, guys started walking up to me with that sus look in their eyes. And I knew for a damn fact that they weren't straight and they were trying to hit on me and shit. And I'm like, nah, f***ing cut the prank. I'm taking this shit off. I feel uncomfortable now. Let me burn this outfit and let me just move on with my life and pretend like this never happened. But yeah, it was funny until, like, people didn't know if I was serious or not. And I'm like, wait, like, what is going on? I believe I have a package for you. Hello, I have a package for you. Okay. So apparently it's an inflatable sex doll so That's I don't know who's doing that in your house it's not for me, man. 
That's what the description says. It's an inflatable sex doll. When I was like dropping this off, I was like, what the heck? Like, there's a lot of girls in town and shit, so there's really no need, but. It's not my bad. If you want me to drop it off or whatever, and you can, like, you don't have to be embarrassed. Like, there's. Sir, I don't know what you're doing, but it's not my package. Well, you don't have to be embarrassed. Like, there's no covering or marking, so, like, if I drop it off. Like, it's not my package. It's actually not? It's not my package. Okay, well. Hello, I have a package for you. It's a Zoe 101 lip balm kit, plus a bonus poster. Have you got the right address? Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Is your name uh, Toby McGuire? No. It's not? No. Is that, okay. do you know anybody here, like around no. here? I think I have a package for you, sir. Okay. Uh, it's just a electric pocket pussy with no batteries included. What's the address you've got? Uh, it should be here, but it's an electric pocket pussy with no batteries included so I have no idea what that that's is. what it says on the description it's like uh okay that's almost certainly not us under the circumstances this is three, three holiday avenue yeah or landon well yeah. there is neither a russell d nor a landon here so mm. do you know what that is I, I sadly i think i do but yes it's kind of like a like a gross sex toy yes like that's I what understand. it says on the description yep so nobody not... in the house is like nope beating their chicken or nope like I said, Russell is not here and Landon is not here, so that is not for us. Nobody's like doing freaky stuff in there, it's just nope. normal family. Yep. I believe I have a package for you. It's Spider-Man lingerie with web shooter panties. No. That's not for you? No, no. What, what's the address for? Uh, it says it's for here, seven, seven. Which is kind of weird. It's from Amazon. It's a drop-off. Yeah, I know it's on it, but I didn't, I didn't order it. I don't even know what like Spider-Man lingerie looks like. Spider-Man lingerie? Yeah. <laughs> And it says web shooter panties. Like, I don't. I was kind of curious. Like, I wanted to open it up, but obviously that's illegal, right? Like, <laughs> you guys ain't doing anything weird in there? Like, you're not into Spider Man or. No, no, no. It's just. No. Spider Man lingerie. So, what are you going to do with this? I guess just put it back to Amazon Returns. You are not from Amazon. You're not no, I'm just doing. Like, they do like a drop off service. So, like, any like regular person can just pick up a package and drop it off. Oh, because ordinarily we get stuff dropped off at the, by the Amazon Prime truck. Right? Yeah, that's for like bigger packages. So like if they're doing like a whole street or whatever, but this is just for like mostly like late and overdue packages. I I'd love to see it too, but no, I am not. Hello, sir. I believe I have a package for you. Like the whole package is like filled with Shrek condoms. Okay, because it says stick it in my swamp. What's the number address? Uh, it says it was for here. Like I use GPS for everything, so. What's the number? It's usually like stamped off as soon as we get to a place just because we have like porch pirates and people who like steal it oh. So we don't want to like give away their information so we have to mark it off as soon as we get there But it was for this place so it's, it's Yeah, so I don't know if you live with multiple people and someone uh, ordered yeah, Shrek condoms uh, There's a basement guy here, but I don't know his name is not this one I can ask him why did they delete the information right there? Because uh, it's like an Amazon return so it's like returned or late packages So like it's already been like dropped off here, but no one answered the door so <laughs> Let me ask him. That's this, funny. Apparently it's like oh, Shrek yeah. condoms saying stick it in my swamp. Swamp? Yeah, like stick it in my swamp. Oh, like somewhere... Oh. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, we get a lot of weird orders, so it's nothing really new. Maybe somebody lives around, he wants to throw it away and he will he'll pick it up from here. Hey Dalton, are you home? Oh no, actually, it is a delivery. It's a weird delivery. I don't know if it's, it's yours. It's not mine. I could talk to him if you want, just to give him you a description. You want to talk to him? Yeah. The delivery guy? Yeah, sure. Hey, so did you order a box of Shrek condoms saying stick it in my swamp? No. Are you sure about that? Because it has, like, the address for here, so I don't know, like, what you may be searching up online or... No. Are you a Are you a Shrek fan or... Because I'm like I a Dirk. I can't say I am. I was actually going to give my buddy a... Um, uh, yeah, dick plushie, but I wasn't getting Shrek condoms. Okay, because it's a, like, it doesn't matter. It's in a discreet packaging, and I only told him, so like, so if you still like, want it. So you got a, like, a package of Shrek condoms? Yeah, like the whole thing's filled to the brim. What the fuck? Yeah, Is and it, it says... Amazon? Yeah, and it says stick it in my swamp. Like, that's a slogan, so it's <laughs> pretty... <laughs> it's pretty weird, yeah. Holy shit. No, I never ordered anything like that. So it's not for you guys? No, it's not no, for okay. us. No, okay. I was going to say, yeah, it's pretty no, weird. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you have a good one, man. <laughs> I think I have a package for you, sir. Are you also dropping off a package? Yeah. Okay. Cause I got a weird one. Mine's like the Kim Glam Girl like production line with a poster. Yeah, I bought for Amazon. Yeah. What did he order? Did he get the same thing? Cause mine's like a Kim Possible like poster kit, which is kind of weird. I don't know what about this. That, that like that could be Rufus the doll or something, eh? 
because I think he's like a Kim Possible fan. Because it's like my second time here this week, and like he's just been ordering so much memorabilia. Like he must be a pretty big fan because he got Rufus the doll, he got like Kim Possible the plushie, he got the poster kit, some face powder as well. Yeah, and this is just like a Kim Possible like memorabilia set, so I don't even like I don't know if you're a Kim Possible fan or no. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Yeah, no. Like, where is it? Like, where is it? Like, who are you from? Are I'm from. You, I'm with Amazon. You're so Amazon. Amazon drop. Is that our? Is that our address though? Can I it see? might be wrong. Yeah. There's not really like we block it off as soon as we drop it off. So. Oh shit. Just so nobody like steals it off your porch or whatever. Okay. Just because I do have somebody in the back, like like this is not me. Is this my? I have a suite. Yeah, but you have like a daughter or someone who's like a Kim Possible fan. I'm the only girl. Oh, okay. Me and my 75 year old mother. So I don't. Think well, she her might be either. watching it. Like, <laughs> it's a class. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's an empty no. box. I'm just messing with people. <laughs> Shut up. I swear. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You're <laughs> I, You had me for a I was like, I have, I have sons. So yeah. I have girlfriends. So now Kim like, Possible is like some dumb show. Is so it? Was, okay. Yeah. I'm like, literally, it didn't go well on me. <laughs> All right. You have a good one. If you and me.